right side of the tire, drop it all the way down to the bottom. Push it down. There you go. Okay. Get out of there. I was from GM. Come out. I'll square the car off. They had a lot of problems on them over That is pretty slick. Resistance was that? Damage. Damage resistance. Everybody agree? Yeah. So, how much did it weigh? 3,000. What's our resistance? Four. Two. Dave says two. Why two? Two. Two thirds of three. Two thousand, right? Yeah. How much is on that leg of that strap? 500. No, a thousand. Five hundred. Five hundred pounds is on this leg. Oh, on that one leg, yeah. I thought I meant the whole. There's thousand, two of them. If I got two thousand pounds of resistance, got a thousand here, and a thousand here, right? Five hundred pounds. So on this leg, five hundred pounds. How much is right. on this leg? Two hundred fifty. 250 pounds. Because there's four of them. Oh, there's four. Right. All right. Yeah. A thousand pounds of resistance here. Uh, it's some 52, 52, 52, 50, 50. Right? Yeah. Can this strap take a thousand pounds? We were getting too Yeah. What's it rated for? Five, uh, From when we three. Rated, we three. It's rated for 3,000 pounds. Working. On a straight pole. Right. Is this a straight pole? No, it's vertical. That's a joke. So we lose about 20% of our rating. Are we worried about that? 
We only got 250 here, 250 here, 250 here, 250 there. It's a 3,000 pound strap. Can we afford a 20% loss? I don't know why. Absolutely. We're well within our working load limit with the strap, right? What's on the wire? That's set up for 2,400, yeah, 3,000 pounds. 1,000 pounds per side. 1,000 pounds per side. We're good with that wire, aren't we? Yeah. What's the winches pull That truck wouldn't be terrible. Yeah, it had thousand pounds each. each. So with that little bit longer, the truck needs to weigh with all the brakes up to the job. Oh, so, oh second three thousand pounds. Three thousand pounds. Like that's 80, that's 80, that's 80, Could we not have calculated every bit of that before we even got out of the truck? It's just, yeah. Huh? Because yeah. you pull over to the side of the road, you look at the dash, and you say, "We got three thousand pounds." I'm pulling the How sideways much? to get it back onto the road again. It's two thousand pounds. I'm going to use 3,000 pound strap. I'm going to have 1,000 pounds on each line. My truck needs to weigh 3,000 with the brake set. This job's all mine. You see how it works? Bag. Very simplified with light duty stuff. Things start getting a little bit dumb called. It's no more complicated than we get heavy stuff like the bus. The weight you just said. Bigger numbers. You just add zero. That's all. And when you so add zeros to the weight, you know what else you add zeros to? I mean, the only upside the bill. Is <laughs> That's right. When digits are added to the weight, digits get added to the bill. That's the way it works. It costs more money to run a big truck than it costs to run a little truck. It costs more money to rig a big truck than it costs to rig a little truck. The principles and foundations of the theories and the jobs all remain the same. The only thing that changes is the size of the equipment you're working with because the weights are changing. And of course, when that changes, the size of the bill has to be changed as well. That's what I was just talking with Kevin.